Mission accomplished! Ow. You would not believe the crap we had to go through to get this thing to work. It was built in 1995, and it was top of the line at its time. From the research I've done, it cost about $1,000 when it was new, which equates to around $1,500 in today's dollars. For comparison, the Oculus Rift only costs about $350 for the current version of the dev kit, and their consumer version is supposed to cost around that same price. So this thing was a lot more expensive. It can track head movements in three different ways. You can turn your head left and right, tilt your head up and down, or tilt your head side to side. I was actually surprised at how accurate the head tracking really is. It's also got stereo sound, and an input jack for the Cyberpuck. The Cyberpuck is a handheld controller, it's got three buttons on it, and it also has motion tracking. You can tilt forward, backward, and left and right. The head mounted display is capable of showing 3D stereoscopic images. The VFX1 comes with an ISA card, which is a really old standard that computers don't use anymore. So my friend actually brought over his old Compact Presario, it's a 200 megahertz computer with 32 megabytes of RAM. This thing's really old, but it had the ISA slot and that's what we needed. So you plug the card into the ISA slot and then it has what's called a Visa connector, V-E-S-A. The Visa connector plugs in from the ISA card to your onboard graphics card. Basically what's happening is your motherboard or graphics card is outputting the VGA signal through that Visa connector just like it does the VGA connector. So anything that gets output to your VGA monitor also gets output to this device. The ISA card also has audio input and microphone output. It basically just passes through to your onboard audio system. The other connector outputs all the audio and video back to the headset and all the control signals back to the computer. Once we had the right computer, we had to get the operating system installed. That meant installing either MS-DOS or Windows 3.1 or maybe Windows 95. We opted for MS-DOS 6.22 because it was easier to get and easier to install. Although it actually wasn't that easy for us to get installed. We had a computer that could only boot to floppy disk or hard drive. We hoped that it would boot to the CD-ROM, but it didn't seem to work. And on top of that, we couldn't get into the computer BIOS because the thing was so old, it required a boot floppy in order to alter the BIOS configuration. We had several hard drives to use from. They were all IDE drives, but they were all much bigger than MS-DOS supports. And I think partially because of this, it had a really hard time partitioning the drive. So we'd load up the FDisk program, and it would allow us to delete the old partitions. But once the partition table was removed, it said there was no more space for any new partitions. This was really unfortunate because that meant we couldn't use the boot disk to partition on a drive. So we had to take the drive out, plug it into a different computer, run Linux on that computer, and then use the Linux version of FDisk to create the partitions, and then move the drive back into the other computer. We also had a lot of problems with our floppy disks and floppy drives. It seems like if you even just breathe wrong, then the floppy disk gets corrupted. So that was a lot of fun trying to make that work. But after about 12 hours of fiddling with this thing, we finally got it to work. So how about I boot up a game and show you how it works. Oh yeah! Put it on easy mode because I'm a noob. Alright, I'm in. So I tilt forward and back with the puck and I move those directions. First button is fire. I can turn to look. I can't look up and down, I can only look left and right. This does nothing. Okay, so I have to turn my head in order to actually move around. Oh, oh, okay. And then this button, if I hold the second button and turn my head, I strafe. Which is very unusual. And kind of disorienting. Let's go find some monsters to kill. Shotgun! Level 3. Full ammo. Let's do this. 
Oh. Well, that also ch What? That changes my weapon, too? This makes sense. Where are you? There you are. Oh, you're dead. Oh, 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 there you go. Now you're dead. Stupid monsters. Oh, another one. Get him, get him. Slow reload time on this gun. Let's get out of here. I need a key. A blue key. Oh, it's blue. I see. Okay. Let's get out of here. Find the blue key. Whoa, let's do a whoa, whoa, whoa. This is much easier on easy mode. That was obvious. What's in here? Dead. Get this guy. Dead. Oh, nope. Get him. Now you're dead. Oh, and a health kit right there. Let's uh, go around this way. Oh! Get him! Oh, crap! Crap, crap, crap! Crap, 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 crap! Oh my god, am I really screwed? There's no way out! It's like a secret exit or something. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, damn it. When I have to kill something to make myself feel better. There you are. Dead. Boom! Bam! Alright. That's enough of that. Going in. Oh shit. Okay. Here we go. So in this game, I can look up and down, left, right. Oh, it even rolls. But, let's see. How do I do this? This, okay. Okay, I got this. Where are you? Oh, that's the wrong bullet, or wrong weapon. Okay, so when I turn my head, my ship stays forward, which is exactly how I would expect it. With Doom, when I turn my head, it turned my whole body. So in this game, I can actually steer the craft and then look around without having to actually change the whole thing. Is that a bad guy? No. Where are you? Oh my god. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Where are you? Explode! Oh, there's someone else around here. There you are, you son of a gun. Yeah! You next! You're gonna be next! Missile launcher! Dead. Alright, what is this? I have no- Hey, what's this? I don't know what I'm doing in this game. I only played it a handful of times when I was a kid, and I don't think I ever really knew what I was doing because I'm pretty sure I always skip past the words in the beginning. Because I don't usually play video games to read. When I want to read, then, you know, I, I read a book or something. Alright, let's see. Whoa, there's someone around here. There you are. You son of a... Gotcha. Where is he? Oh, he's down there! Or over there. This is so confusing. There's no up or down. It's like Ender's Game. I hear something. Oh, you're right, you're right there. The graphics are kind of crappy. It's hard to tell. It's hard to make out what is an enemy and what's not when they're far away. Oh, there's one. Doomed, doomed. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them! Back up! Get out of there! Alright. Well, that wasn't too bad. What is this? It's green. That must be good. Missiles! So all those guys are clearly guarding the missiles. Mm, 
am I going? What's over here? Have I gone this way? What is this? Oh, there's guys in there! How do I open this? Oh my god! I just blew- oh, that, that's not an open button in this game. Um... Oh, jeez, that's confusing. Okay. How do I back up? Back up? Shoot. Uh, oh, there we go. Hi! Look, he's waving at me. I can look at you. Anyone else in here? No one else? Can I shoot you? Nope. I guess I have to save you. I must be wearing one of these suits in my cockpit. I'm gonna have to get one. For more immersion. Oh, you're down. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got hit. Okay, I'm alright. Oh, there's another one. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I got ya. I need a joystick for this game. It'd be much better. Missiles. Oh, another one. Missiles. Oh, okay, lasers. You are dead. Whoa, green guys! I think those are green guys. Yep, green guys. And they seem to have a lot of armor. Oh, I see. They're guarding this key. Oh, are there more? Where are you? There you are. Oh, oh wrong button. Okay. Um, shoot. So that's really helpful, there's actually, if you press the enter key, like if I look off to the side and now I'm going crooked, hit enter, and it centers me back where I need to be. So if I get all screwed up with my head orientation, I can just put it back to the middle. It's like if I end up over here or something and it doesn't make sense. There, now it's like more comfortable. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, oh God. Oh, someone's shooting at me again. Ah, oh, jeez. Another one. Where are you? Oh, God! Alright. Hey, is this where I need to go? No. Ah! Oh, that just looped right around. That was dumb. I have a red key. I most likely need a red door. That's how Doom works. Okay, what's up here? Or is that the loop again? Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, that looks like a red thing, like a red door. Aha! More bad guys. Whoops. Back up, back up. I need to roll back over. There we go. Oh, more green guys. These guys are powerful. Should use my missile launcher. Oh, I ran out of missiles! Ow! What is shooting at me? What is that? Jeez. Oh, is that missiles? Oh, I got missiles. Okay, that's gonna do it. No, I have only one missile. Shoot him! Uh, what? How, what do I do? Do I have to get out of here? Oh! Oh, it's doing it automatically. That's me! <laughs> Woo! Good job, team! Proton torpedoes!
Ah, uh, yeah. Mission accomplished. Out.